everyone uh, welcome back in this video we will be talking about Azure policy which is under management and governance so we'll be uh, talking about various options which are present in uh, policy so let's go ahead and uh, look into that so click the policy or you can just uh, search in the search bar and you can click that so here we have uh, various options so if you talk about Azure policy so it's a tool that helps you to ensure that all the resources in your Azure environment adhere to specific uh, compliance and governance requirements. So it helps you to establish best practices and regulatory requirements such as ensuring all the resources are encrypted, uh, certain tags are applied or you know access controls are set up correctly. So that is why we use uh, Azure policy and here if you talk about events. So an event in Azure policy is a signal that uh, that a resource is not following the rules defined in the policy. For example, uh, if you have policy that requires all the virtual machines to have a specific tag, an event will be generated for any virtual machine that does not have that tag. So events can be used to take actions such as uh, notifying an administrator running a script or triggering an automation workflow. So by using the events, you can ensure that uh, your resources stay compliant uh, with your uh, policies and are managed in a consistent and controlled way so under authorization you can see there is definitions so let's click that so coming to the definitions a definition in azure policy is a set of guidelines uh, that you define uh, for your resources in azure so it can include uh, requirements such as enforcing uh, you know specific uh, configurations or settings tagging resources with uh, you know specific metadata or uh, ensuring compliance and regulatory standards so that is what uh, the definitions mean so if you check the definitions we have different options here right uh, initiative and policy so basically if we talk about initiative so it's a set of policy definitions that are grouped together for easier management and organization for example you might have a set of policy definitions that ensure security requirements and uh, another set of policy definitions that uh, enforce compliance uh, requirements. So you can, uh, you can, you can group these uh, policy definitions together into a single initiative called uh, security and compliance, uh, which makes it easier to manage and assign to Azure resources. So by using this initiative, you can enforce multiple uh, policy definitions at once which helps you to ensure that compliance with multiple requirements initiatives are useful when uh, you know when you want to enforce a specific set of policies across multiple resources groups or subscriptions so that is what uh, the definition is so initiative is nothing but the combination of policies so that is what it is and uh, coming to the assignments so if you check the assignments assignments in azure policies is, is a act of uh, assigning a policy to a specific resources or a resource in a group so when you assign a policy you are uh, instructing azure to enforce the rules and requirements specified in the policy definition or initiative on that resources or the uh, resource group so that is what uh, the assignments mean and coming to the exemptions an exemption in azure policy is a mechanism that allows you to exclude specific resources or uh, resource group from uh, enforcement of the policy and uh, if you have a policy that enforces a specific configuration or requirement an exemption can be used to prevent the policy from being applied to certain uh, resources or groups of resources so that is what it is coming to exemptions so you know you can assign the policy here you can assign the policy or the initiative and you can also search for uh, just a second it's taking time there you go so if you check all the, you can check all the initiative uh, types here this is the combination of policies and you can also check the policy based on your needs you can select the appropriate option and uh, select the one so that is what uh, it is and coming to let's say if you want to assign a policy you can click assign and here it's a scope so at what level you have uh, you want uh, this to be applied so is that uh, subscription level or uh, the tenant level or you can just you know uh, select the particular resource group and you can you know segregate it accordingly so in this case i'll just leave it uh, default and uh, coming to policy definitions you can also exclude here 
coming to policy definitions you can select the one that you require so in this case i'll be selecting the first one though or you can search here let's say if you search uh, inherit so you can see if we have got uh, the tags so you can click any tag that you want so inherit a tag from the subscription if the tags are missing so you can click that and add and if you add any you know you can add uh, the description if you want and make sure that you enable the policy so this is by default my name which is uh, uh, the person who is logged in so advanced we can just leave it and parameters you can just add the tag name so you can add it as environment according to the docs and uh, we can uh, leave it uh, it has default you can add a non-compliance message if you want and finally review and create it so i have talked about uh, azure policies in many of my videos so this is how you have to do it uh, so you can just directly create it so it will be applied so let's say for example you are creating a virtual machine uh, which should not be created so whenever you are trying to create uh, create such resources there will be error prompted so if you see like i went to last stage right usually it will uh, check if there is any policy which is uh, restricting it if there is any policy that is restricting it it will stop or else it will show a successful message and you can just create it so that is how you can create uh, azure policies so coming to this video i hope you guys understood the concept of today's video and if you've liked the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe to the channel and please share the video thanks everyone